All right, all right. Salute to Siobhan Clark, man, with this eighth round knockout of Ellis Zorro, man. Knocked him out at the damn bell in the eighth round. As they went into this exchange, and it was Zorro calling Clark in as he sat against his ropes, waving him in, telling him to come on. As you see in the picture here, he's telling Clark to come on, and Clark obliged and went over there with some gloves to put to his head as well. And those gloves connected to the head, knocked his equilibrium off, concussed him. He's on the ground, and, you know, his brain can process on how to roll himself over. He went back into becoming an infant. He couldn't figure out how to roll to his stomach and to use his feet to start to get up with, man. Really pounded his brain cells in. He should never call the dude in. should just move around and survive the the fight. But I had a feeling that Clark was going to uh, end up stopping Zoro. Is to me, Zoro looked very, very nervous just from the style in which he fought. He didn't fight too much because I caught the fight right about round five. And I'm looking at the way he's fighting. Every time the ref separates them, there's distance apart from him. He moves immediately. He moves right on in uh, to lay on the dude, to sit there and lay on him and try to throw uppercuts, try to throw hooks and refuse to throw off his jab. These dudes are two two tall fighters from what it seems like seeing it. These guys are probably six foot, six foot two dudes. And they weren't releasing any jabs, especially Zoro, in my opinion, should have been working off of the jab. And, you know, his confidence just didn't look there. It'd be moments where he can throw off a jab. He sat there and waited for the moment to move in. But um, he opened himself to being knocked. Any one of these guys could have got caught with any of these shots. Uh, but that's all I got. Catch you guys. Peace.